guys, welcome back to another video. <clears throat> Today we're doing Japan. I forgot, I think I've forgotten to do Japan. If I've already done it, well, I'll do an updated one. Because I really like Japan and I've played quite a bit of them. So, usually you don't actually want to go down here straight. I can see why you want to rush this. It's only three slots down. The thing is, you can you have so much else to do at Japan and your tech tree is uh, one of the better ones. It's probably the best one, just um, not looking at... Uh, uh, like Germany is the best one because we get war goals and demand and stuff but if you don't count that you can count industrial stuff and military I would absolutely say Japan has uh, I think at least Japan has the strongest maybe you can say US uh, but I don't think so so start up with our I, I think you start up uh, this one is though exactly the same as this one so doesn't matter though it could matter if you were doing some rushing strategy down for this one to get to the torpedo range but I don't see why you want that early same with these and uh, yeah let's research your industry same as usual this should be standard for you if you watch my channel and here I usually swing change it up for mass assault because I think that's better than uh, going trench warfare um, can talk about that in another video the last one is a is a flex you can do tank you can do this one you could even do boats uh, but I, and, and I think a boat is the best choice because you really want to be producing those good boats You need to take on the US and US start up quite well in their navy And if they're a good player they will focus on that early So usually you, you see here you quite a lot of factors you usually want to uh, Reinforce build up your civilian economy then start producing a naval don't dash need this order You can do more civilians in between. We'll see how it goes. Um, maybe I change it up later so this th this division is one you want to produce for now. You're gonna change it up a bit, a lot later. Uh, for now, do you like that? And that uh, and assign them to where you want them to spawn. Next one, this one, it's, it's not good. Uh, probably have to produce it because I don't, I really. And I would like to produce these. Uh, so let's produce two of these and actually uh, move these up one of uh, those. Hmm. Do I want to produce these sucky tanks? No, actually not. But I'll, I'll still pro No, I'm not actually producing them here. Uh, okay. Just max out here, as usual. But this should be standard. Lower these to one. A drill, you know it, probably. If you're new. No, that's fine. I uh, want to build a lot of these, a lot of these. And these are just going to be uh, switched out for better. For now, we don't actually need them. So. Uh, yeah, it's just chicks. Carrier naval bomber one. Carrier na yeah, we that one we can save. This one we don't want, so we can remove that one for now. We will add a better one later. So actually, we can add more here. We can add more here, and let's do that for now. And uh, I think we can do something like that. Uh, not ex doesn't need to be exact, and this is okay because this is it's just these two, and they will finish up. And uh, yeah, it's fine. So let's start up time and let's reorganize our army as usual. Uh, let's usually I just take control over these 42 divisions here on land. I think that's the best way of doing it. Just assign them to guy here and put half there and half on this border. And uh, then we need these mainland divisions. And I usually like to keep my troops here on the island just because I like to have troops on the island so then we can take them. Though I can see why you want to remove them because that's technically better when you're doing assaults and stuff. You see V stack up to 10, that's good because then you can make naval invasions with them. We're going to do that from Nagasaki and we're already going to prepare our invasion for China. And we're going to do it 1937 is the plan. So what we're going to do is we want to, we want to capture Shanghai and Hansu and the area in between that. So how are we going to do that? We will need ports and we need to link up both ports. So we can do landing on all of these and that's probably what we're going to do. Like this, you see. And then we want to capture everything here. So, so that's this bridgehead we're going to get. We're going to land, we're going to capture that. Same time we're going to push down here. That's the border war. It's not to worry about if you're we should know that. Uh, we, this is the city you want to capture. Because this city is going to fall to these guys. And we're going to want to do a push straight through down to this city here. So 
what you want to do is you want to do this offensive line capturing you don't actually need to capture that city uh, but we can do offensive line around here it doesn't show for now but if you see edit it you can see it is here and when we merge uh, you can just it's fine so we could go straight into the war with China but I I really like to increase my naval production first and focus on this area go take up this super heavy battleship research those and start producing them so that's what I'm going to do first it's usually do in this order I think that's the best uh, I could see why you want to start up by absolutely I can see why you want to go straight into here it's just that these two here is doesn't do you anything well I'll these two do and these and that's how I think you I can see absolutely as I've said and I want to stress that point because I don't I could see other ways of building it uh, that I think are absolutely fine and we want to it's stuff a lot of stuff to research as uh, in military technology for Japan because we are quite far behind I would say uh, you only have these two when you have it's standard uh, yeah it's uh, for nations thing is st still you have so much stuff to focus on as Japan and uh, because yeah you need a good navy and an air force and still and I forgot you need to send volunteers so how many can I send is it free four shit Sometimes I don't even send. Uh, I usually send from this group. This group, uh, just because I want them, the, these guys here to be trained. We're actually going to have this commander here, and uh, they are going to be sent here. And actually, thinking of it, I'm going to. I gotta switch out. Okay, I gotta switch out these garrison units because I don't want garrison units. Garrison units should not exist in my army. Except on the islands. On the islands, we're fine. On the islands, you don't need anything good because we're entrenched. They will, uh, will just cost too much if you switch them. And you don't want cavalry either. Well, you could say you want cavalry because they can be military police later on. I would say it, they're better as uh, motorized. I'm going to switch out, and we're going to have to produce a lot of stuff. Motorized shit, we're not even producing that shit. Get to produce a ton of it. Uh, move it here. Get tons of it in production. Remove. We just need to focus on motorized for now. Uh, forgot that. Didn't realize you didn't produce it. I didn't even check. So let's actually check. The words. I know one. I need three. Ten. That's only 10, 1, 10, shit, I thought we had 2, oh, here, it's 1, but yeah, let's merge up every, all the fleet. What you do is you just shift click all of these guys, and move into Hiroshima, man. Just gotta double check, yeah, beautiful, and now we have volunteers here to fight, so yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on for Japan early game, I would say it's going to take a... We're one of the harder nations, absolutely. So if you're new to the game, I would not recommend playing as Japan. Um, the end goal of Japan is annexing China, pressure Siam, taking Vietnam here, and then invading India. And uh, holding these guys in check, maybe even do naval invasions and take them out in the late game. But for this, you need China to be gone. And uh, how you do that is you just need to invade them early. That's why you're aiming for 1937. So you have two years to do it. That's why I can see you want to do this. This is the only thing you have time for then. Now you have time for this and uh, uh, like uh, going to. But the thing is, I like. I'm thinking that you can do this and, and having Lord, like a good production fleet going on at the same time as war goes on and like do this then. I would say uh, I could. Though I know. Because uh, I mean, now these. Uh, yeah, okay, let's. It's going to take us one, two. Three, four. That's four. Yeah, well, that's probably too much time. Actually, I want to pick this up now. Now we have naval production. That's really important. I'm going to pick this up soon, not now, because we still have a lot of industry. When the industry finish up, that's the time where you you want this one to be done to so get the bonus. And if not, that's fine, because then you can save that bonus to pick up this one. Super Gemata class. I think it's 200 days. It's just it's too much this early in game. I would say um, that's uh, mainly the reason. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's one fleet and. Uh, half that fleet and half that 
next fleet and uh, fleet one fleet two off that fleet and uh, now we have four fleets good we need them for different stuff uh, I could see you use three I could see you use four I would say both is fine uh, so now we gotta split them up to different locations and we gotta name them easy uh, that is one two three and this first one then has to be four even though I would like him to be one no I actually want him to be one cause this is in uh, cause his, he has the best fleet and he's the best leader I think yeah probably uh, so yeah let's remove you you and you and let's move you here go back to you let's remove you and you and you can go Taiwan chill here and uh, let's just play it because I didn't know I don't know which one I move okay uh, you can move to north here maybe and now all of the battleship 2 we want you in japan oh it's called japan fleet okay not japan whoops japan okay so this you can do in a lot of ways we want then we're going to micro a lot of it and this one is for free right yeah because you don't have any of them any carriers and we want everyone to have at least one carrier and you can go to free as well you guys can go to the fourth one because I don't care uh, about the submarines and I'm not actually going to focus on them at all in this game so if I have them they're just going to act as bad boats <laughs> uh, if you want to manage them yeah fine but you don't have anything to invade that's the shit <laughs> thing with them you can't really raid if you find a, a need for them like raiding China's coast yeah fine do that but it's, I just don't think it's necessary and it takes too much time okay let's uh, and see, military fears, that's good, military fears is more important, industrial that's important, anything here that's important, just gotta check everything, this is important, everything is important, but uh, let's pick up a theorist now, shit, how long, now it's better to pick up a startup with industry now, uh, see, you have a choice here for that one, yeah, I, I really wanted to try this out a lot, I never do it, because synthetic resources, you do in the late game and in the late game you it's it goes quick anyway uh, gotta focus on Barcelona because this will fall it's such an exposed city uh, really really exposed actually and uh, but Barcelona is not so that's the focus now I don't need to worry about that let's say we have bad infrastructure I can see that yeah let's build oops get a build infrastructure I need it here. Yeah, I probably do need a couple. Uh, oh yeah, because I have border here. Actually. Hmm. I have a lot of troops stacked here in this area. Uh, that's uh, probably necessary. We could do more naval invasions, uh, but we won't. Uh, I think that would be good enough with ten divisions invading. In least. Mm, yeah, that's it. Uh, I think it's fine, and uh, we can start up modifying this one. We will remove here. First up though, we gotta add that RT. We need it. RT is super crucial, necessary in the builds. And uh, we're actually going to modify the garrison because they they will need an engineer at least. Because uh, check, we're going to be stuck on these islands. And uh, the one thing though is to these guys you want to move half of them to this city here. Because here's uh, that thing. You need to defend the victory points. I can see you moving three here and staying one here. I can, see, yeah, that's probably the best thing. I just like to have it uh, same both. You do as you want to. <laughs> ah, big the boat, the good boat. It's finally done. A good destroy at least. So let's add it. Uh, and let's uh, let's see. This one hundred ninety nine is too much. Too much good tank now I think I could see I could see you going uh, uh, something else uh, the 99 day one what's it called 
Oh, yeah, the one that gives re research reduction electronic thingy. <laughs> Something. I can check, but does it isn't important. Now the thing is, you won't pick this up, but this one is so good. This one you won't pick when the war breaks out. Thing is, you go this, I would say, and could pick up here. We'll see. We uh, want to start the war at, uh, as well, so we gotta do that soon. We want to civil war here to end though, so our troops uh, can uh, be moved home. Uh, oh, Italy hasn't finished this war. That's slow. It's gone all 8 months. I mean, at least bad. Should be able to beat. <laughs> Should be able to beat at least uh, Ethiopia. And I've realized that uh, the regular thing it goes down, it's based on how much troops you lose in battle, I've realized. Uh, so if you lose a lot of troops, that has to be replenished. The guys that replenish them are ba uh, are worse than uh, this, so it goes down, the average. Because I, th I think that's how it works, uh, when I looked into it. You see now, we're starting to build up good, good uh, in <laughs> industry, and uh, we need to lift our production, really. So... To keep up with US, because the one we're fighting, we're not fighting a war here in Europe versus uh, small, relatively small nations. We're fighting big boy U uh, US, and we're a tiny nation compared to them, but we have really good space to expand. So that's not a problem, that's good that we have. Uh, and here won't be a problem. Things that will be is uh, we'll probably need to defend our islands and have naval control. That's why we have so many fleets. I'll actually going to send them out now on missions. Uh, fleet 1. Is going to be the main. Is going to be attacking here. No, we can send that one for that. You can defend these two because they're important. Fleet four, you're going to patrol out the rim. These guys here have that under control. The fourth fleet, the third, is going to is going to have these under control and the. I don't, I think I, no, I, I know it's one I haven't done, I just gotta see which one it is. You, don't you have no orders? Okay, you don't have any orders. We don't need you anywhere. So you can patrol these then. Yeah, that's not good enough. We'll see how that works. Yeah. So yeah, now, oh, we actually need to defend this one, yeah. Yeah, let's see, you can do that instead. <laughs> Convoy. My bad. Uh, just defend these one. Uh, patrol these. So let's see. This is our defense. It should look something like this. I can see you moving stuff around. But it's not that important. Most important is they are locked down. Most of them. <laughs> and when US comes, you will need to fall back. You can't have them this spread out. This is because this is pre war, uh, pre China war, even. And. Uh, Stuff like, oh, and I have tons of experience, so I'm just gonna see here it goes. Okay, let's start modifying this guy. Uh, let's remove these like that, and let's remove another rule. Yeah, let's remove another rule, and uh, we do space marines. Uh, let's do that because we're ant because that's anti infantry, and uh, that's good. Anti infantry in our situation, got to research medium tanks as well. We can do that. Then we need to pick up this guy. Not now, we got it first. Uh, and we can wait, because we just started this shitty thing, and uh, we can wait uh, for that reason. So I could see you uh, not racing that shit. <laughs> Ooh, silent workers, yeah, I think that's the best idea here, actually. Because we don't, uh, that's an investment for the future. We don't need it now, so we're um, investing it for the future, so. That's how we're going to do it. There's a reason. You'll see when the war breaks out. It's November. After this, we're going to do Chinese war. War of... No, no, no. You do this one. This one, and then these two. And then warrior tradition. Then we rush down to super heavy. And then we can do industry focus. Go down into battleship focus. Pick that up. Maybe... Maybe we want this one uh, sometime. Uh, and we want to keep going down here because this is not not doesn't make a difference. This thing, and so the only thing that will is uh, 
will do access leaning. I'm not going to do founder of fashion, though I think it's super fun. I think you should try it. Because what you do is you invite, uh, you puppet China, you invite Siam, and uh, you invite uh, maybe V C if they turn fascist. But yeah, basically <laughs> you invite Siam. You have your own little faction here in the east. It's super funny. It's good. It's really fun if you do multiplayer and you have like India as a player, China's player, Siam, Australia, New Zealand, that is in it's both kind of guys. This place is quite fun. It's only gone 20 minutes and there's so much more stuff to do and I will try to get the war started. So, okay, right now you have, there's a lot to do. I can't stress it, but we, we will do this one because that's the right thing to do. And we will do the last industry. Industry. And uh, like that. We gotta, gotta really start building military as well. So we'll do that after here. Start building them probably here. Doesn't really matter. Oh, right then now. It's gonna be almost a year. Uh, we have 2.5 million men. That's good. What have you done? Are you just rushed down here at the beginning? That's weird. Hmm. So after, I'm just going to talk you through this, after this, you do these two, you, de you declare war on the Changxi, and I'm going to show you, but declare war on Changxi and not China, and then you invade China, uh, Changxi and annex them, and then you declare war on China, and then you conquer whole of China, and while you're doing that, you're taking warrior traditions, after you've done these two, and then you take industrial effort, or you immediately at the war tradition rush down to super heavy battleships. You research that shit and start producing those bastards. And also, after that, you go down, demand French Indonesia, pressure Siam, strike the US uh, when you're feeling lucky, you can say. Uh, other stuff to do is. Uh, oh yeah, in production, when building, uh, when these finish up, you will need to do four destroyers with like three to five each and you need to do four <laughs> carriers and four con these or you can mix it up and and that is probably why you need to be quite a good player to manage because you need to do you need to have a lot of dockyards and you need to have four of each or three if you do three I would not recommend having two you see how much naval control I have in the early game it's good to have a lot of naval control in the late game you need, don't need as much but you need to have it and that's the thing and that's why you need uh, less in late game uh, Japan is probably as hard as UK, and I would say UK is a hard um, to to master. To master, I would say, because you have so many fronts to worry about. You need to take care of in Commonwealth nation, especially in multiplayer. Uh, but yeah, I cannot, I cannot, I didn't come as long as I hoped I would. Hopefully, you've understood, Bo, and uh, I can do a couple more seconds or so. I'm just gotta move this up here, and we gotta start see, checking here for stuff. No, not the time. Force enough, but still checking around. You gotta get the planes on lockdown because we haven't even touched on that. That you need to have air, uh, naval air, air superiority over this island because this is all your production. This is everything you have. So yeah, that's quite important. Now just assign those here. Do that. Oh, I forgot to switch these out. Oh god, they are veterans. That is good. That is really good for the invasion. If you can get that, it's really good. You would, should be happy. And you're training them even. Because they're green and we don't want green invading. Doing the special invasion. Gonna get war, war economy up. It's nice, and now it's time for Chinese border incident. Uh, seems good. Yeah. Producing these motorized divisions, and uh, I gotta produce them here. I'm thinking. Not that important because we're not going to be able to build them soon. <laughs> but yeah, let's see here how much division do I have? 70, 75, maybe. That's quite good, and uh, China has 80 or so, I would say, when the war breaks out, yeah, it's different, but, I mean, hey, it doesn't really matter, 
you will be able to beat them. Your divisions are much better, you have better uh, logistics. <laughs> As I say, I have minus 12k. It is a bad thing that I have so <laughs> lacking. The thing is, it you'll be able to win anyway. Carry fighter shit. I'll get that later. We'll need it though. Oh, nice. This is for one. This is for two. And you need to organize this. You need to know how to organize your fleet good to be able to micro stuff like this. Uh, and four. So now everyone gets free a year to destroy. That's it's okay. It's it's fine getting free free of visa a year. Uh, absolutely. Uh, you don't need more, and you get and remember these you're getting four every time. So you get three a year. That's six, nine. That's twelve a year. Spreading out over the whole front. So I mean, it's good. It's fine having so little it's not good you need at least two lines on every single one when you're doing battle uh, battle cruisers if you're doing carriers you need a full one you need absolutely a full one it's and as and super heavy battleships on battle ships not super heavy you need almost a full uh, thingy almost a full one uh, though it can be lacking some not a whole line though probably here because we will need to invest, but no, we need radio shit, we're going to war soon, my bad. Uh, and you really need reinforce rate, reinforce rate is really important. Yeah, it is. 5%, that 5% uh, can do quite a lot. And uh, Especially if you think, like, if I have radio from the whole start of the game to the end of the day, ooh, if I just have it, and my opponent never gets it, I'm going to have such a big advantage over him. Uh, it's insane. Because that 5% over the course of many, many hundreds of fights, people dying will really make an impact. Will really make an impact. It's so almost gone 30 minutes, and I still have a lot to do. And I will actually make a special video only talking about Chinese war. And that will, video will probably start up exactly when this one stops so I can record this right after actually that's smart so land it here if you enjoyed the video leave a like down below tell me in the comments if you're if you want to see the shiniest video or if you just want me to not make it or postpone it or stuff make something else and see you guys next time bye